Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on November 25th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here looking at some old imagery. These SDO has not updated their images here from the 24th and on. So showing the same images as yesterday, the last 48 hours before the 25th, pretty much right after that large plasma filament ripped away from the northeast region, we haven't had any new imagery. So SDO not updating images. Lasco 2 showing a large CME taking off from the region where that plasma filament was. And it was in an outgoing position. As well, we've got a pretty sizable sunspot region on the backside of the sun right now that is firing away. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on that as it will be turning for an earth-facing view first week of December. Multi-spectrum here showing two active sunspot regions, but no major flares to talk about thwarted our way. A little flash of the moon coming into view there on the bottom right-hand side. right there and as well another light here 171 angstroms showing the coronal hole that is leaving and we are being penetrated now by the coronal hole wind stream our solar winds have picked up dramatically and two more coronal holes developing there for an earth facing view stay tuned for tomorrow's update hopefully sdo will be updating their images here on the sun Having a look at Alaska 2 showing the last 48 hours of imagery. Large CME taking off on the 24th in an outgoing position. But highly active region. And as well on Iswa showing a pretty sizable CME taking off from the backside of the sun. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 530 kilometers per second, definitely up from yesterday. We were expecting this incoming coronal hole wind stream. So now our wind speeds are up at 530, cosmic charge particles down to about 10 now. Having a look at our geospace magnetosphere, this is our solar winds hitting our, our planet. A little graph showing how our magnetosphere is holding up. This is solar winds, darker reds, faster speeds, and as well, the pressure, as the pressure is on big time right now. And we're only sitting at 170 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. We could be on the verge of something big once this pressure releases. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range a couple minor B-class solar flares to talk about, but nothing major. Geomagnetic activity up to KP4 as it has been for the past 24 hours with that coronal hole wind stream. You can also expect to see some auroras tonight across uh, Canadian prairies, BC, and as well Europe. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Very low and healthy power. Not too much to talk about here or look at with the telemetry. Quality 9.5, amplitude of 7, and a power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes. As I said, it was pretty quiet. No major earthquakes to report. But we're going to start out here with the most recent South Sandwich Islands, seeing a 4.9 and as well a 4.7 today. South America, some activity coming back. 4.3, Argentina, 256 kilometer depth. As well, 4.4 here, Taltal, Chile, 115 kilometer depth, 4.5, Ecuador, and 4.4, Colombia, 58 kilometer depth. Minor activity coming back to the Virgin Islands, 3.4 up to 3.8 across the U.S. North American plate. Mexico's uh, White City, New Mexico, still seeing minor activity. And as well, Western Montana with a 2.6. Nothing major to report. Still pretty quiet. 
Minor activity continuing through Alaska. And then we get to Adak, Alaska, 4.3, 3.8 there, just east. And as well off the coast of Kamchatsk, really close to Shevelich, seeing quite a few earthquakes there. As well as 4.4 here, Tahara, Japan, 390 kilometer depth. Quiet through the Philippines Plate and Western Indonesia. Get to Solomon Islands here, and this is our largest earthquake the past 24 hours, a 5.7 Solomon Islands. As well, here's our deepest, 539 kilometer depth, 5.0 Fiji. Only earthquake to report across Eurasia right now, major is 4.2. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's have a quick look. Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and volcanoes getting updated. We have Alad in Russia, as well as Fuego, Guatemala, Popo in Mexico. Many flood alerts across this app right now. I wish I could sit here and show you them all, but literally every continent is dealing with flash floods, watches, and warnings. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangue in Ecuador. Landslides in Vietnam. Santa Maria in Guatemala. As well, Ebico in Russia. Merapi, Indonesia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the active and erupting 48 volcanoes across the world. Give you a quick look here at satellite imagery as we have quite a big swath of moisture heading into Ireland. United Kingdom in the next 24 hours. Long atmospheric river has been building all week. And as well across the Pacific, we've got some strong systems in the northern Pacific. And as well, a long line of moisture stretching across northern territory of Australia and north of New Zealand. And another big low moving into southern parts of Australia. Cold temperatures and winter storms moving in for Russia. Northern China, no major tropical systems to report. And as well, some moisture for parts of North Africa this week as a low moves in. Quick look here at forecast models brought to you by windy.com. Showing the next few days of systems moving across North America and South America. Strong low Sunday into Monday across southeastern United States. As well, a pretty big blizzard developing for the Canadian prairies and Alberta. And in the long range, lots of snow for Quebec. Having a look here, strong system Saturday into Sunday. Could see some potentially dangerous storms here racing across eastern and southeastern United States. At the same time, you're going to have a big blizzard developing for the Canadian prairies over Saskatchewan and it's going to be a widespread snowfall event as it sweeps eastward and then mix mixes with a Pacific low which is racing out of Texas the next couple of days that's what's going to bring all these storms South America daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Venezuela and as well Buenos Aires a low pressure system hanging around there South Africa could see some very heavy rains through parts of Mozambique and as well South Africa. Other than that, nothing major to report. Overlooking at Europe, low pressure center heading out of Italy this week, going to affect parts of North Africa. And as well, northern low racing down the seaboard there, going to bring waves of moisture inward. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, some pretty strong systems sweeping across the Pacific. We'll be crashing into Alaska in the long-range forecast. As well, one tropical system affecting Thailand this week. Overlooking Australia. As you can see here, potentially strong storms across the Northern Territory. And as well, New South Wales this week. Like they haven't seen enough rain already. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. And also I'll give you a quick look here at temperatures that are forecast for the next little bit. 
minus 43 in parts of Siberia. That's without the wind chill. And as well, watch for those temperatures to flood across Canada this week. Minus 42 in Northwest Territories, none of it. Minus 2 right now here in Alberta. But it's supposed to get pretty cold here. Up to minus 26 without the wind chill. So stay bundled. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please, if you did, leave a like and a comment. And share with your friends and family. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.